All right, in a, a different video, I covered a 433 megahertz transmitter, and we took a look at that. This is the matching receiver, and like I said, you'll find these all over eBay. Uh, super, super cheap, a couple bucks. Um, so, uh, made an antenna for that, and uh, before we hook it up, let's take a look at the circuit. Uh, I found the circuit interesting. So this is, uh, I, this does not match what I have, but it is close. Hopefully the camera's not washing that out too bad. Um, it's not a very good print either. But anyway, the antenna comes into an amplifier. Uh, the amplifier feeds into this weird circuit here, which I haven't quite figured out yet, but it has a, uh, it has a uh, trap LC circuit and the feedback path, I think. So it, 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 it ampl it's a, it's a bandpass amplifier, I think of sorts. The way it's drawn is really, really weird. I, I'm not sure really this is true or not either. Like I said, mine doesn't match this. Um, then it goes into an op amp and, uh, it's not really drawn well, but basically the op amp is this. There's a, a AC coupled into the op amp. It gets amplified. Uh, it gets AC coupled into this thing, which is basically a comparator. So if it gets a forward going glitch, it, it flips. If it gets a negative going gl glitch, it flips. So that's the way that it works. So, uh, not really, it, it's not really works where it sees a signal and it stays high. And if the signal goes away, it goes low. No, it r works on edges, which I'm not too pleased with either. So nothing about this circuit I like. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, mine's different, so I tried to... Anyway, it's it's really, really weird. Then then to boot, um, there's really strange some strange values. There's a uh, second 7 picofarad capacitor here, fine. There's a 2 picofarad capacitor here. And believe it or not, it's not loaded on the board. So it's just two pads without a part loaded on it. So there's no connection here. Now, I don't know if there was enough coupling that they didn't need the two picofarads or whether this board is just wrong. And we'll find out that it doesn't work anyway. So maybe it's just wrong. That two picofarad is not there. There's also, uh, across this transistor, there's a two picofarad transistor, uh, uh, capacitor, which I don't understand why it's there. And uh, it's missing too. It's not on the board. It's not loaded. Uh, so, or is it this one? Uh, I don't think either one is loaded. I don't think that one's loaded either. Anyway, I think this one just doesn't exist on my board and this one's not loaded. It's there as a as surface mount pads, but it's not loaded. I think that's the way it is. So yeah, so go figure. Anyway, let, let, let's hook it up and I'll, I'll show you what it does or doesn't do. Uh, Hook it up way over here. Okay, so it just flashes. So it's constantly receiving RF and constantly toggling that uh, comparator. And even if I, you know, even if I grab it and try to, maybe that's making it too big. I'll ground myself. No, that doesn't help. I put a ground clip on the antenna. That doesn't help. Uh, the only thing that helps if I go grab that capacitor there and ground myself. Even that's hard to do. Uh, this is the input. This is the input to, there we go. So I just licked my finger, so I shorted it out. Um, that's the input to the comparator or the first it's uh it's this capacitor right here. I'm touching that node right there. So I'm kind of disabling all the rest of that. So anyway, so yeah, so that sort of works kind of, um, but the RF section is just completely dubious. I've seen people use these online and they seem to work great for them. So I don't know if I got a bum one or whether my, the RF in my garage is just way too high of a level, which could possibly be. Um, but certainly it's not very tolerant to other RF sources. Let's say that. Um, so I'm not sure what to do with all of this. I thought I would, run signals in it and test it and everything, but yeah, it's, uh, it's sort of not going to work. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, it's not going to make a very nice video, is it? Let me just short out something here. Here's ground. Uh, I don't have I have a good piece of wire for ground. Here we go. Okay, there's ground, and I'm touching the antenna, so yeah, nothing... 
grounding the antenna right where it inputs its amplifier doesn't doesn't help. <laughs> it just doesn't help. So if there's nothing, so what what am I doing? I'm grounding. I'm grounding right here. Maybe I should ground the base of that transistor, which would be. Oh, this is too small, which would be right here. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't help either. So anyway, the front end is not the problem. The, fr the front end is just doing its thing. And I think with this capacitor missing, the, this is just doing what it wants to do. And uh, it's very, very frustrating. Um, I guess you get what you pay for, huh? Um, yeah, I thought it would be fun, but it's not. All right, you ever have one of those days? <laughs> Um, you know, I was having lots of problems with this receiver, just wasn't doing anything at all, right? And so, um, I was playing around with something else and came, came back to this for, for another reason. And I'll show you the other reason. But first, let me show you what I've got here. I've got, um, transmitter, uh, being modulated with a 555 and... Uh, you can see up there, I've got a, uh, I've got a square wave going on, all right? And so that's modulating this transmitter on, off, on, off, on, off. And it comes over here to the old receiver. And I'm going to put the scope probe on the, uh, on the uh, data pin. And look, <laughs> it works. Now don't ask me why it works now and it didn't work then. Um, I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. But if I do move my hand around, it goes wacky. So I think it's it's just picking up all kinds of interference and something. Maybe the gardener was mowing that day or something. Who who knows? And it, it just it just picks up everything. If I grab the antenna, I can kind of get it to calm down um, and not pick up anything else. So. Anyway, it's, it's kind of partially what I wanted to show, but what I wanted to show is that uh, I had a, a remote control light to control the lights in, in, the, uh, in the shop here, and uh, it went bad on me. I don't know why. I tried to fix it, but I just couldn't. So, uh, But it did have one of those little receivers on, on, the, uh, on it. But this, one, this receiver is different. So there are two different kinds of receivers I've seen on eBay. And this one has some type of crystal. I don't know if it's an oscillator for the chip or it's a filter, um, but anyway, it's different, right? Um, but let me uh, let me disconnect the, that same pinout. They're, they're compatible pinouts, which is interesting. Uh, let me put this one in. Okay, so now I've got this other little receiver here, and let me uh, let me show you what its waveform looks like. Its waveform is perfect. Much, 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 much better receiver. <laughs> so, I recommend if you go buy one of these things, do not buy, let me zoom in. All right, uh, get scope probe out of the way, there we go. So do not buy this model. Um, buy, buy this model, the one with the crystal on it. Uh, so I put an extension on it here so it'll fit in the, in the uh, Protoboard, but um, yeah, these these are lots better than these. So there you go. Uh, tip of the day. Uh, screw these things. <laughs> Oops. Uh, okay, so tip of the day. Uh, don't buy these, and do buy these. Uh, they seem to work. They do seem to work a lot better. Now let me show you the downside. Now that I've now that I've sold you all and going to buy one of these, let me show you the downside. Uh, let's go ahead and, and put it back in circuit. And uh, let's get the scope probe out again. And we will watch the data output. And there's the data output, and you think everything's great. Now let me turn off the transmitter. So no transmitter. So um, it does, if there's no signal to swamp the front end, um, then it just auto gains to whatever else it can see in the atmosphere and starts triggering on that. So it's got, it does have a whole bunch of random um, data. So, you know, it, 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 it's picking up lots and lots of noise. So if you're going to use these things, you must have some type of protocol 
and some type of error check, like a checksum or something. Um, otherwise, you're just going to get a whole bunch of garbage in your transmission. Um, so, um, but on the other hand, it, it does work a whole, a whole, whole lot better than the, uh, than the, uh, than the other one here. All right. So anyway, fun for the day.